Pro boxer Canelo Alvarez landed the biggest sports contract ever. On your screens, $365 million to stream his fights. That's what he gets. $365 million. That's not split. Nope. That's his. That's a lot of money. It, it is. is. And look who else is here. <laughs> Vladimir Klitschko, former heavyweight champion of the world. Yay. Is that correct? Yes. Heavyweight champ of the world. Former. For, uh, since I retired. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. okay. $365 million? You didn't make that kind of money, or, or did you? Well, you know, I'm not going to talk about my money, but these news are <laughs> really, really program. exciting. <laughs> and then, on the other hand, you need to also understand that, you know, Darwin said, not the strongest is going to survive and not the smartest is going to survive, but someone who is going to adjust to the environment. Mm -hmm. So HBO, yes. on one hand, didn't adjust because right. HBO is stepping out of the right. business. And then you have this news, $350 million from the zone something that comes from internet and not really cable. Right. So we live in the world of digitalization, mm. which helps a lot to increase your salaries oh, yeah. and fight bureaucracy and corruption. Mm. And for athletes, it's perfect. Well, I it mean, who would have thought it's going to happen? Audience. I mean, by streaming everywhere in the world, you've just Through multiplied Through internet, your you get anything. Yes. That's right. Um, you won't, don't want to go back into the business? I mean, with that kind of money involved, you could make a killing, Vlad. <laughs> okay, I just want to use this moment and announce my comeback. <laughs> <laughs> don't say that if you're not going to do it, Vlad. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. <laughs> okay, look, you've got a book. Um, I've got it here in front of me. Vladimir Klitschko, Challenge Management. What managers can learn from the top athlete. You give me one thing that I, if I'm a manager, I suppose I am, that I could learn from you as a top athlete. Give me one thing. Can I give you three things? <laughs> yes. You're going to, yes. so, so do it. Um, I wish you to act without compromises, because every compromise is going to cost you time. You don't have much time, neither you, nor right. you, nor no. me. No. So no. it's limited. You're totally wrong on that. You're totally okay. wrong. If you want to so, be a good manager, you must compromise on occasion. Okay, just listen. Uh, <laughs> Without compromise, because you're going to lose time for every compromise, you're going to lose focus. Because you're given in with a compromise. Mm -hmm. If you take it multidimensional, now we go, here we go. Multidimensional, maybe sometimes you do take compromises. And then if you act and being egotistical and have big ego, because if you wouldn't have big <laughs> ego, you wouldn't sit here. <laughs> That's true. Actually. An athlete, if, you would, if, if an athlete wouldn't have big ego, wouldn't succeed in the sport. Canelo wouldn't sign mm. his big deal for 350 million without big ego. You know, standing in the ring and fight and then mm. show to everybody he's stronger and better. So, but even though here you take it multidimensional, maybe you sometimes step back without having big ego. Big ego is good. But narcissistic is bad. So <laughs> no, no, it's no, like no. very close yeah, to each other, but you need to feel, you know, <laughs> taking compromises look, and look. being egotistical. That's what I want to tell you. Look, you cannot be on television. You cannot not? anchor a show without being a narcissist. Yeah. You've got, look at me, look at me, look at me. It's all about me. That's life in television. Yeah, Where am true. I going? Am I wrong? No, you're just egotistical. You're not narcissistic. <laughs> you're not narcissistic. <laughs> Let me throw this open to my okay, colleagues. Okay, I have a question here, about narcissism and egotism. What do you think of someone like Conor McGregor? Well, he's you know he's uh, he's an athlete, and I was actually surprised him being so disciplined, which you wouldn't expect from him in the fight against Floyd Mayweather. He was. Mm. He was fighting in the ring, in the boxing ring, under boxing rules, which we. Never have done before, but was that probably. a boxing but match in your view? Aren't you a purist? Aren't you a boxing champion? Was that insulting to you, that spectacle? Uh, that happened recently? The Floyd mm. Mayweather, yes. the uh, Conor yeah. McGregor match? Well, no, I think we live, as I said, in the world of just you need to adjust to the environment. Mm. So there's a lot of things. If you're not, you just look at the companies as well. Like Kodak, you know, right. used to be one of the largest companies. Or Nokia or, or BlackBerry, and now like all... The Chinese company, um, yes. Huawei, or, or Apple, or so things changing constantly. I have if a quick question. If you're not question. going to adjust yourself to it, you're going to be knocked out. Do it. Vladimir's brother is the mayor of Kiev, which is a big gig. I mean, that's a big, and there's been a lot of political upheaval. Are you going to get into politics at some point? <laughs> Should I make another announcement? <laughs> yes. yes. So, one 
politician in the family is enough so far. <laughs> okay, right. Vladimir so Klitschko, far. <laughs> we're coming up against a hard break where we have to earn some money. And besides, the program would better get back to me. <laughs> yeah. the narcissist here. <laughs> Vlad, it was a real pleasure, man. Yeah, you're pleasure. you're <laughs> a, a fist pump guy. Thank you very much. Sir. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you.